Hey guys, welcome to a little Warframe video that I might not even ever upload. It's kind of this is kind of going to be a rant video, but kind of like an explanation video. Uh, it's just something I wanted to get off my chest for quite a long time because I've made videos about Nyx um, and the problems with her, what I thought for quite a while. And even though I'm not a Nyx main, I really enjoy joyed maybe Nyx. And um, with the new skin that she got with the shotguns, I'm playing her a little bit more, and I've been thinking about this issue even more. So it's like. Let me give you a little brief um, history. I, my memory's pretty crap. I will say that right away. Um, just like a just like a heads up, I might get details wrong. Just to give you a little backstory about Nix's mind control and how it used to work. So a year ago or so, maybe more, and and from there all the way to when she was introduced, if you mind controlled an enemy like a tech or a fusion MOA, something that spawns another unit, they would spawn hostile. And some for some fucking reason, people would defend that, um, even though it didn't make no sense. It's like, like say, a Drock Master was a good example. Or no, not a Drock Master. They, they did fix that very soon. Uh, let's take the tech example again. So he, uh, the tech gets damaged. He's mind-controlled. He Right now, he thinks, I am supporting the Tenno. All these corpus around me are my enemies, right? So he takes a fucking drone, a shield drone, he throws it up and commands it to attack him, and it doesn't make any sense. Obviously, it's, he's supposed to protect himself with the shield, right? And in turn, it would protect you. Now, this they have fixed. They fixed only recently, unfortunately. It's like D D and the community don't really care about mind control, and I get it. It's not a very good ability. But it's fun, and that not that the point of Warframe, when you're a veteran with nothing to do, just to just have fun? It's just one of those things where I was always confused why people would just ignore this issue. But that's just one of them, so it's like one enemy, one issue. Another issue that still happens that I bring up, I haven't brung up in a long time, but it just doesn't make any lore sense. T take a Drock Master, right? You control a Drock Master, he summons Drocks. Now he is under your control, and he rightly commands the Drox, despite whatever training they may, may have had to hate the Tenno. He's their master. He commands them to attack the Grenier, and they do so. If the Drock Master dies before the duration is up, or you just, um, yeah, before the, before the duration up, so you, uh, e either he dies from enemies, or he, the duration ends and he just dies, um, from the, um, accumulated damage, the Drox now are hostile to you. Why? They were attack. They were told to attack the Grenier, and now their dying master is lying on the ground. And what? They just have a change of heart. My master's killed by the guys that I was told to kill. Now I'm going to attack the Tenno instead. That doesn't make any sense. Now, if if the mind control ends and the Drock is alive, obviously they would go hostile again because now the master, the Drock master, is now able to command the Drocks again. He says, "Okay, now you attack the Tenno." They just follow orders. That's just one of the things that I've always had a pet peeve about. Now I understand it's because eventually you'd gain so many drops on a mission that they would, they'd be overflowed with allies. Not very strong allies, though. I'm just saying. But I get it. I get the reason. But a simple solution to that, of course, is just to limit them to two. If you mind control another, either that Drock Master never uh, spawns more drops until those first two die. That's really easy to do, I would imagine. Or you just um, make it so if he spawns more, the others die. Simple as that. So, and then another recent issue is something that I was actually very excited about. Uh, they fixed an issue where if you mind controlled a shield osprey, um, before it would just fly into groups. Uh, unfortunately, the specter still does this. They still haven't fucking fixed this, even though it's a great specter. Specter, um, but I guess we still have the roller specter, so it's pretty clear that D doesn't give uh, a rat's ass about specters at all. Um, but with the shield osprey, um, if you mind controlled it, it would follow you. It bodyguard you, which was so fucking cool. I was blown away. Nobody really gave a fuck or knew about it, but I was so blown away because I used uh, shield ospreys like in some defense, like solo defense. Uh, if you use Nyx on a orc in defense, it's kind of difficult. It's not uh, hard, but it's kind of difficult because the enemies do surround it and they start to damage the pot a lot. Well, if you mind controlled an osprey, you get a free full shield recharge for the thing, and but then but before it would just float away. Um, so now it actually follows you and bodyguards you. Now, unfortunately, shield ospreys still have a high threat level for enemies, so it's like enemies will try to target it over to you, 
which I guess makes sense. Whatever, it's a shield osprey. That's what we do. That's what new players do anyway. They're told they're they're taught basically that shield ospreys protect other units, so they target them first. I get it, but it's just a little disappointing because they're very fucking weak. Then there's another interesting issue with the ospreys. Well, um, I'm not sure if this still applies, but. Sometimes if you controlled a shield osprey, it'd bring out some lasers and fire because, it turns out, shield osprey is actually basically an orc and drone, kind of. It was always intended to have weapons, but they just never fire. It's always like in a disarmed state. Well, if you mind controlled them, sometimes they'd bug out and they'd be able to fire their weapons. And recently, I think they patched this or something because I don't really see them firing their weapons anymore, which is unfortunate because it makes the boost to mind control where you... You mind control an enemy and then you fire at them for a while to boost their damage. It makes that kind of useless before. Then you'd have a shield drone, but also it, it would be returning fire on enemies, which is cool. But the most, the reason why I'm making this video is just because I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of people ignoring this issue. I get it. There's so many frames, so many opinions. There's people that think that Zephyr needs a rework and she's the most important frame in the game. I get it. You have your own opinion. I have my own, uh, own opinions about Voban and Nova. I think Nova's uh, second augment that was released is useless. It has no use in the game because the first one does the exact same thing. However, if the first one is removed, fine. But we only need one of those augments that re that replenishes Nullstar. We don't need two in the game. That is the silliest fucking thing ever. No other. I don't think there's any other abilities or augments in the game where it's like they're carbon copies of each other. They just get to the goal differently. Anyway, that's just, that's another video rant. This, this is already going to be a really large video to anyone who's even caring to listen um, and who hasn't already disliked because I said, you know, Zephyr's probably not that great. You know, I know there's someone that might. But basically, recently they made it so when you mind control an enemy, uh, regardless of the enemy it, it was, they have a bodyguard AI where they come to you and almost protect you. However, it was a little bit buggy. They almost had it perfect. I was really happy about this. I was hoping the next hotfix they'd release, they would fix this issue. And it would be a perfect ability and I'd have lots of fun with it. The, th the problem was, if you got too far away, only like 10 meters, the enemy would stop firing and it would slowly walk towards you even if it was being attacked by enemies. So it, it, it prioritized coming towards you than fighting and they would walk too. They would walk walk really slow towards you. So basically it made them useless. And then Eximus would just sometimes sit there and not do anything. They wouldn't retaliate. They wouldn't attack. So it was like, it was like two bugs that they could have fixed that they didn't. And then Ancient Healers, like, uh, the, with the, like I mentioned before with the Shield Osprey where it would follow you, they made it so Ancient Healers would stick by you too. They wouldn't attack, but they'd stick right next to you. That was the best fucking change they ever did. You get a shield osprey, you can have a shield osprey protect you and an ancient healer protect you. But for whatever reason, they just reverted these. They reverted these changes. And it's and enemy AI is actually buggier now than it was before. So it's like they reverted the changes. Now enemies don't follow you at all. They just they go they went back to the old thing where our uh, shield ospreys will still come to you, but ancient healers and every other enemy they will just they if they detect enemies they will fight enemies and they will not follow you until they no longer detect enemies and that's and that's horrible it goes back to their it basically went back to their old state but i've noticed they're even buggier now they went back to a it's almost like they reverted back to a um back to where before they even fixed that um one bug with the ancient uh healer and shield osprey where they wouldn't follow you or whatever whatever it's like they almost revert it back to them because sometimes enemies will just, they will just stop fighting. They'll be really buggy. They won't even follow you at all. It's incredibly frustrating because like I said, I'm not even a Nyx main, but it's so fucking fun to, instead of just um, spawn a bunch of enemies like Necros or enthrall enemies like uh, Revenant, Nyx was the original. You take an enemy and you say, you're going to fight for me for a long duration. And then, and then the buffs to uh, mind control where you could stack up damage. All these things made it really effective. Like a new player who could pick up Nyx right now, they'd be able to charge them, charge up uh, an enemy for like maybe 200% damage. And then all they would need is an intensify and they can remove all the armor of surrounding enemies, or six enemies I mean. And now that bonus damage unit can help them kill enemies because let's say they have a Bratton. Because they just they, they just found out what the infested were and they found out hey I can get Nyx from Ford which is never explained 
complicitly. I never see anybody that plays Warframe first for the first time. They never get Nyx until they're like Mastery 12, which is extremely disappointing because you can get them very, you can get her very early on. Anyways, um, the point is that you could, if as a new player, you could use Nyx to your advantage to get to do higher level missions because the damage of the enemy scales, obviously. But you can pump in extra damage. So you, so even if you're Bratton or maybe Karak or Gorgon, whatever kind of new weapon you're using at the time, even if you can't kill enemies, you can charge up an enemy like a heavy unit, and you can watch. You can let them destroy nearby enemies. That's what's fun about Nyx. Just for fun, it doesn't have to be an overpowered ability. Like I don't really agree with um, every abil or every frame being a nuke. Wisp is fun. She's kind of overpowered in some ways, but she's also just fun. And there's 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 an argument to be made that frames should just stay fun and not be fixed because something might be broken. There is a power fantasy component to this game, and it's something that I believe should be left as is. If you're going to be going around, take what's what's the advantage of being um, a super tank? You get more resources and you have more fun. What's really wrong about that? So um, this is, I might not even upload this video, like I said, but if I did, congratulations. I spent probably four hours uploading this because I can already look at the timer. It's already been 13 minutes, probably cut down to maybe 10 at best. So I just wanted to talk about this. Even though this might not get many views, people don't care. I've made posts about this to DE. I've tried to get them to talk about it. I even got D Rebecca to respond to my point about the AI being buggy. And what they do, they don't fix it. They revert it. They don't fix it. They revert it. I might rant up, there's so many things I can fucking rant about, but it's just like, I don't have the time, and I don't have the patience, I get so fucking depressed and frustrated, I really like Warframe, and it makes me depressed to talk about things, so many things that are wrong with it, I guess I'll just point out, just to end the video by saying, since 2014, they've been more focused on making new content instead of fixing old, and they admitted this in their no clip, or Rebecca at least admitted that they simply cannot, that's her words, they simply cannot, not a direct quote, obviously, it's a paraphrasing, they simply cannot do that, go back to fixing old bugs. They have to do new content to keep people interesting, according to her. And if that's true, that's extremely fucking depressing, and people should know about that, but people either don't know or don't care, and I keep seeing every update, they get more and more content, less and less bug fixes, or the bug i mean the game has so many bugs even if a, even if a thing is full of bug fixes it's still a whole tiny percentage of the bug fixes and not just bug fixes issues old mods that are useless magazine mods that do nothing unless your magazine's huge already you know stuff like that stuff little quality of life stuff that they could have changed intermittently as they upload some content but they're so they're so, they seem, so I'm not going to accuse them of being lazy or anything like that. They seem so focused on keeping players interested that they forget that some people will be interested by having their favorite frame fixed, their favorite mods fixed, having more, um, having more space or more freedom to mod. People, you can make people stay in the game by fixing old, I don't understand why they have this kind of mentality, or at least Rebecca does, or claims to have, this mentality where you have to do this, and you can't do this. That's my only thing, and this is supposed to be about Nyx, but it kind of did a whole thing. It's just, I'm frustrated at the game. I really like it, and it's just making me more frustrated with every update. I go into it kind of hyped, and then I'm disappointed, or I don't get hyped at all because I'm I'm careful like that. I've learned from experience, and then I feel nothing because it's like a meh update. Um, so yeah, it's just I ho I hope they fix Nick fix Nix. I hope they fix Voban. I mean, it's just there's so many things they have to do, and from the time stable ti or timetable they've been doing things, it's gonna take so goddamn long for them to do anything. Years to fix Voban because they're gonna fix other frames first. Years to fix Voban. Ugh. So yeah, before I get too depressed, um, thanks for watching.